In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite route combinations from the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the YouTube channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to help you become a better Madden player. One of the things that I like to do is I like to learn as much as I possibly can about this game. And so what I do on YouTube is I basically share with you what I'm learning literally in real time as I am learning it. And so um, if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. Now before we dive too far into this video, video I did want to quickly share with you that I actually have a full ebook out on the bunch tight end it's just 15 bucks it shows you everything that I do from this offense I believe that this is the hardest offense to consistently stop in the entire game and so if you want to get that full ebook on the gun bunch tight end it's literally in the description for you it's just 15 bucks there's a link there that you can click and you can pick it up also, if you have any questions about the video, I would encourage you to text me. My cell phone number will be on the top left-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share with you today um, just another setup that I really, really like out of the bunch tight end, and this is um, a blitz beater. It's a way that you can really do a good job at beating the blitz, and I haven't talked about it a ton, but it's really my go-to um, when I want to be able to beat the blitz, and of course, I forgot to grab the mic blitz, but we're going to be utilizing... Um, we're going to be utilizing the Blitz out of the Mike Blitz 3 that a lot of people uh, like to use. So it's it's good for zone and man blitzes. It's very, very difficult to stop. So, uh, again, it's bunch tight in, and the play we're going to be utilizing is the inside switch. So you'll see here inside switch right there. And all I'm going to do here, it's actually relatively simple. So you'll notice that if I man align and I press shade inside, shade underneath, and, you know, let's just say for sake of the video that I'm going to do something like this right here, right with my user. Okay? This is kind of probably, this is what I would do if I was running this. I want you to watch whenever I motion Devontae Adams over to the right. So if you look here, you see that the safety is on um, the running back. Well, whenever I motion Devontae Adams, I want you to watch what happens here. You see that it changes. Now the outside corner is on him, and the only one that's guarding the running back is a safety who is all the way on the other side of the field. This is with man aligned. This is a man aligned defense, and this is the beauty of the bunch tight end. I want to show you what happens um, in instant replay. This is true. Like this will be any blitz in the game. Literally any blitz in the game. This will kill it. Uh, and I just want you to watch what happens here. So if you notice, literally this, what happens is you get a, you get the safety on the left side of the field manned up on the running back on the right side of the field, right? You create a trips, and basically it's, it's literally just shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, it's just an absolute laser. And the beauty of this is, and this is something that I'm learning about Madden as I go throughout the rest of the season, Sometimes you want to click on and user catch, and sometimes you don't. And I'm actually becoming very convinced that if you are running the, um, if you're throwing a flat route, you don't want to click on to the player. So again, we're going to motion. You're going to see the movement here. There's going to be a natural movement. And all I'm going to do, I'm not clicking on. I'm just letting the computer do this. And as soon as I can gather him myself, I'm going to do it. And as you can see, this thing can literally, I mean, this will score you so many touchdowns. Now you might be saying, well, what? You know, what, what can they do to stop this? Um, it's a great question. So the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to go to cover two man. And I want you to watch what happens um, from a cover two man perspective. Now, again, re remember, a lot of times people are going to man up circle. If they're running 3-3-5 wide, they're going to man their user up. So they're not going to man. This guy's not going to be in man coverage. Savage is not going to be in man coverage. So I just want you to watch. We're just going to do the motion, and I just want you to watch what happens to the running back once again. So, again, this is just a basic coverage defense, and I just want you to watch the play art. Look at what happens here. A natural man switch once again, and now in this situation, the linebacker is going to be matched up against the running back. And that's pretty much consistent for whoever I motion across. You see here, if I motion back, the linebacker is still, still in coverage. Now, you might be saying, well, what if you motion uh, Tavon Austin? Well, same thing, because he's manually manned up. You see, now there's nobody matched up on the running back. So this is another little technique that you can use, especially if people are running 3-3-5 wide. This is going to mean, and this is a little trick that people like to do at a trips tight end, 
But basically what's going to happen is there's going to be two people guarding Tavon Austin, and there's going to be nobody guarding the running back. You see here they both go to him. Nobody's on the running back, and once again you have yourself an absolute laser. The motioning of bunch tight end, I think, really does help it a ton, um, especially as it pertains to man coverage. It's a little bit of a – it's a little, it's not a glitch necessarily because if you think about it, it's really just – taking advantage of the alignment right because the, the 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 player is the problem the player manning his user up that's the real issue so this is the same strategy but i want you to watch here if i motion table in austin you should see once again they're going to switch they do snap throw absolute laser and you don't have literally you're going to go for 10 15 yards and he might be saying well that's great what if they use her the route what if they use her the route? That's a great point, and I want to talk about that a little bit as well. So, um, number one, this is quite possibly the hardest route in the game to stop with your user. Even if you are closing in on the route, it is very difficult to stop this play. Um, another little technique that you can do, um, because you're going to still keep create these alignment issues, is if you wheel the running back. By wheeling the running back, you're going to see that now it's really hard to stop it. I mean, now he's way out there, and now I can't quite get out there. I personally like to swing him. Uh, the swing route, you get a little bit better rack uh, catch. So now let's 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 stop blitzing for a second. And I want I want you to watch what's going to happen. I almost guarantee you this is going to happen. They're going to start to manually man people up onto the running back to try to keep him from going. Um, so once again, this is where, again, your motioning of players is going to change everything. So um, I'm just going to show you the defensive play art here, and I'm going to motion. And I want you to watch. There should be two people on Tavon Austin, and there's going to be nobody on the tight end. As you see there, the tight end is wide open. You see the issues that this can cause for some of the most popular defenses in the game. Okay, and this causes the same issues for double A gap, which is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Okay, so now you might say, okay, well, what if they just use or somebody else, right? What if they just use or so? Let's just say they use or this guy. So now I want you to watch the play art once again, and I want you to see what happens. So inside switch, same thing. Now they're not doing anything with the middle linebacker; they're just using over the middle. And I want you to watch the defensive play art. You see now the middle linebacker is matched up with him. He can't get out there, right? He can get out there a little bit, but he can't get out there a lot. And that's where, you know, again, this is such a simple play, but it can be so effective. Now, what about you might be sitting there saying, well, what about zone coverage, right? What if, what about zone coverage? What about like five-yard purples? How, do that, how does that do? Okay, well, we'll talk about that. So five-yard purples. So I've got, I've got a purple. Um, let me just do this. Real quick, so I've got two purples, I've got a three rec, and I've got a user. And I want you to watch this right here. Um, this is a little bit, I mean, this this right here is really, really powerful if you actually master it. Um, take a look, watch the running back here. Snap, you see zone, you just, you just throw it and you're going to eat it up. What you basically are going to do is if, if you see zone coverage, if you see zone coverage, then you are going to literally, and I'm not kidding you, like quick, as soon as you catch the ball, you're going to basically truck with your running back. So you'll be looking here, you're looking right, oh, zone coverage, just truck, just truck. You see there, it's an automatic 5 to 10 yards. This is how you can take a flat route and really make it me make it matter. Um, this is one of my favorite routes in the entire game. It's one of the hardest routes to stop for my money in the entire game. And again, let's say they did something like this now, okay? So you say, okay, well, what if we do, what if they man up the running back with the defensive end? Okay. So same strategy. And now we're going to man the running back up with the defensive end. Remember, this is a table route. So it's going to cut right there is where it cuts. That's another thing that you can do with this. Now, once they get to that point where they're manning up defensive linemen on the running back, that's where you really got them now because they can't blitz you. They can't blitz you with this play. Um, another thing I do want to hit on is let's say that they user it. And just for sake of the video, let's say maybe they stand like right here and they, and they, and they are really, you know, committed to taking this away. All right. So they jump, they jump like crazy at the running back. Okay. Let's just say that happens. That's where this motion slant starts to really matter. So they jump out to the right, 
you throw the slant back to the left side. The other thing that you have going for you is your inside breaking post pattern is going to kill man to man. So we'll show you the same thing. And now I just want you to watch, you know, just going to want you to watch here. Another thing you can do, and this is why I like to motion Devontae Adams most of the time. If that linebacker on the right side blitzes, you can just pop past this to the Tavon Austin. And you see you're going to have a nice instant man beater against the pressure. This route combo, this play, this concept kills the blitz. It kills mid blitz. It kills Mike blitz three. Um, remember, remember, let's just, I want to kind of create a mid blitz look here. I just want you to watch this. This is this is very similar to mid blitz, right? Very very similar. Now what people are probably going to do is they're going to use her this guy right here, right? That's who they're going to use her. And I want you to watch what happens when we run this concept. So once again, we're going to use some motion to create mismatches. And I just want you to watch the play art of the defense here. So I'm going to motion him across. Look who's guarding the running back. It switches to the opposite side safety. Now what's going to happen is their user is now guarding the tight end, right? So now what I can do is very relatively easily. If their user, Jackson, if he jumps to that running back, like he probably will because you've been hitting, with them, hitting them with this route all game, he's going to jump to the running back. Now what's happened is your tight end has ran away. There ain't nobody guarding him. Instant separation, that, that's a one-play touchdown. Because there's nobody guarding him because of the mismatches that Bunch Tight End creates for your offense. If you are struggling beating the Blitz, I cannot stress enough how much I recommend you using this strategy right here. I guarantee you, if you give this strategy a really good run for its money, it will help you stop. It will help you deal with the Blitz. It will help you 100% deal with the Blitz. Okay? Um, because another thing that you could do. Is the same kind of thing here, but just watch. When I move Adams instead of Austin, Austin is unbumpable. Watch the movement here. They don't move. Now Austin's unbumpable. He's wide open. Now you got a quick read. So my point in all of this is every route will beat man on this play as long as you have good route running and as long as you make the correct read. So the bunch tight end is super powerful. It, it, it does have answers for everything the defense is going to throw at you. So I would encourage you, if you have not picked up the ebook yet, you need to pick it up in the description of this video. I want to thank you so much for your support. And again, if you want to get a free sample of the ebook, or if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 812 216-3644. It's also in the notes in the description. That's also where you can get the full ebook if you're interested. Thanks a lot, guys. And a reminder that ebook is just $15. And I guarantee you it will take your offense to a whole nother level. Thanks for your time. And we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel.